<clears throat> hey guys and gals, Von Baden back upstairs today uh, with another video for Nightmare Creations. Today we are going to cover where I'm at with my symbol that I've been working on. Um, this isn't completely done, but the last few steps that I am going to take are not um, dire to the finished product. Um, I will walk you through what I'm going to do. Um, first of all, this... I can get the light to shine on it just right. This is the problem with doing videos upstairs. There you go. Um, this has been now sealed with two coats of the acrylic um, sealant. I will do my best to leave a link for what it is. It's, um, what I put on all of it gives it a nice shiny look. Here. Um, with this, we had the orange on it. We had the yellow. And then I went back through and in the um, airbrush, went through and did some grunging up on this. And then that leaves us with the symbol. Now this part is not 100% done, um, but you can actually see kind of that neat little element of the paint on this one. This is these drips are a mutant shift paint is what it's called and it's by Plata, Plata FX um, paint awesome I need to seal this up and then of course glue it onto this so this will be the finished I mean it's really cool how that paint changes kind of color but anyways um i'm gonna super glue it on there and there you go now you can really see it good um super glue it on there and then of course i will do another a um, another coat of lacquer sealant in the paint job and this also on the red parts has a bit of a brown grungy look to them. I didn't want it all to be just one color tone so I went through and did a a um, forest green is what it is I want to say. I will make sure that I leave links to the colors and stuff down in the description as well but um, all the paints on this are plat FX. Uh, it's the first time I've ever played around with this mutant um, color, but I really like how that came out. And the last thing I'll do is around the edges here, I have some burlap that I'm gonna fold over and glue to the edge here, and then on the back side, kind of wrap it around. So looking from the side you'll see burlap and this one will be will be a done project so um the only downside that i can say about this mutant um paint is the fact that it goes on kind of thin and that's about three three coats of it on there to get it nice and solid. It did have that color changing look to it, even with one coat, but I wanted it to be super, super solid and thick. So I did extra coats on it to make sure that came about. So hopefully this was an interesting video for you with the plaid fx paints um not as much of a how-to but just kind of a product review of the paint 
Um, also, uh, interesting thing before I wrap this video up is Plat FX paints you can use in an airbrush. So that's awesome as well. Um, so, if this is your first time in the channel, you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Got any questions, comments, anything like that, go ahead and leave those in the section down below. And I will see you all on the very next video. Thanks. Bye.